Y'all already know I'm a huge fan of minimal nail art. I'm also a huge fan of Halloween. So in today's video, I'm combining the two. I'll be sharing with you five nail designs that are easy and minimal and perfect for Halloween. You can do a mix and match mani like I'm doing here, or you can do one design for a full manicure. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration. For this first nail design, I'll be using a sheer beigey milky shade of polish and I'm applying one coat of that over my nails. As you'll see here, my nails are an interesting shape. I tried gel extensions. I didn't film it, but I'm trying it. So hopefully if I get better, I can share a tutorial with you guys. Next, I'll be using a white nail polish and creating a wavy shape over the free edge of my nail. And you'll see here, I'm actually using a thin nail brush to do this. I purposely chose a nail polish that didn't have a wide brush because it's a little bit easier to maneuver a design like this when you're using a smaller one. Then once that white dried, I did apply a little layer of hollow taco and I used the scattered holographic one. You don't have to do this, you can keep yours plain. I just wanted a little extra sparkle. Next, I'm gonna be adding some details to my ghosts like eyes and instead of doing a traditional dot or oval for the eyes, I decided to make one eye a star and then the other an oval, and of course give him a moaning, groaning mouth. I'm using acrylic paint to do this because it is so much easier, but if you don't have that, you can always use nail polish. Seal it in with a generous layer of top coat, and that's the friendly little ghost. Next, we'll be doing a more abstract nail design, but it's still minimal. For this, I'll be starting with two coats of a pumpkin orange nail polish, letting it dry between those layers and then letting it fully dry on the second coat. Next, I'll be using a super skinny striping brush and watered down black acrylic paint to make some uneven, squiggly, kind of creepy lines across my nail. This reminded me a lot of that old Ray Bradbury book called The Halloween Tree. There was one edition that had this like really cool, creepy black and orange design on the cover and these remind me of the little limbs that are on that tree. Or it could just be a weird wacky tiger print but it's definitely unique and pretty minimal Moving on to the next design, again, I'll be using that milky sheer base color and applying a coat of that and letting it dry. Then with a black nail polish, and for this one, I'm actually using one that has a wide brush, I'm creating a shape over the free edge of my nail. This is just kind of like a weird heart shape. You can make this any way you want. It's just mainly to serve as a background for the design we're gonna put over top, which are some fun, magical moons and star shapes. And again, I am using white acrylic paint to do this because it is easier. I also used a detail brush and a dotting tool to create the designs. I decided to add a little white glitter to the outside of that black area and then some more dots so it made it look like the magic potion was sprinkling down across my entire nail. Finished with top coat and that's it. For the next design, again, I'll be using this sheer milky polish because I'm going to be doing a French tip. And actually, this is the first time trying that viral stamping French tip method, and it definitely worked, but it was so messy. I think I need to practice. I'm gonna clean up that mess with an angled cleanup brush, and then I wanted my French manicure tip to be a little more dramatic, so I'm going in with a detail brush and just taking that curve up a little bit higher. Then I'm going to use this lime green polish and apply some stitches along the edge of the French tip. I did not do this well at all, so forgive me, but you get the idea. Seal it in with a top coat and that's it. And for the last minimal look, I'll be doing this on top of a white nail, and I'm just going to use a teeny tiny detail brush and black acrylic paint to make some doodle star shapes. And I decided just to do two of them to keep it super minimal, but I think this will look super cute if you did a bunch of different sizes and did them over your entire nail. It would also look super cute to do them in different colors, maybe some pastel colors or just traditional Halloween colors. 
finish with a generous layer of top coat and that's it. Five nail designs that are easy and minimal and Halloween-y. If you guys decide to give any of these looks a try, I'd love to see a picture of it and you can share it with me on any of my social medias I have linked down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and I'll see you next time. Bye!